Clinic nimefungua my friend. Financial clinic is on. Nimeweka bench nje kama kawaida. Nime sanitize, nimeipanguza. Msisikumane kama last week. <laughs> Today we are talking about how to, to determine which car suits you. This whole month we've been focusing on uh, motor vehicles and just financing a motor vehicle. How to choose the right insurance partner. So today we are uh, zeroing in on. So how do you then determine which is the right car for you? We've got two amazing individuals joining us via Zoom in studio today. First, I've got sales manager, cheki.co.ke in Nairobi. This is Anne Bin. The Anne, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm very fine. Good to have you on the show today, Karibu. Asante sana. Nice to be here. Awesome. I also have the CEO of Majors Motors Kenya. My name's James Kamau. How are you doing? Fine, thank you, Mr. James. Karibu sana. You have a nice name. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Namesake. <laughs> yes. Let's let's jump right in. I'll begin. I'll begin with you, uh, uh, James. I mean, yes. nowadays there are so many options. It's not like back in the day. Nowadays, it's like cars are everywhere. There's always a new model coming out. There's there's so many so many varieties to choose from, and it can get confusing. So, where do I begin? How do I begin to determine which is the right car for me? Nianzi wapi? Mm, from my own perspective, the first thing is to do about the budget. Mm -hmm. Budget should be one of the key factors you should consider when you are buying the car. Okay. You might like a maybe a, maybe Mazda Demi. That's your dream car. Mm -hmm. But consider back in the you don't have the financial like maybe you have less than one hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So you'd be opted to go to another model. Okay. First and foremost is the financial first suspect. Um, I, I was kind of thinking that probably the first thing would be my needs. I don't know. I don't know, Anne, what you think. Why do I want the car? Can, should that be a factor as well? That is a very important factor because, again, you'll be looking, maybe you're looking at buying a business car. Is it a personal car? You need to first understand what you're exactly looking for before buying that car. Mm -hmm. Because you can be buying something that is meant for business or something that is pretty expensive uh, comparing to what you have in your pocket. So it's very, very important. Okay, let's, let's, assume, let's assume the money issue is not, is not a big thing. Let's assume, let's assume, yeah. she didn't kutumia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she didn't kutumia. She didn't yeah. kutumia. She didn't yeah. kutumia. Yeah. So when we're yeah. talking about needs, yeah. Let's break it down because my, my thoughts are sometimes you buy something because your friend bought it. Yeah? yeah Jimmy, maybe I'm, 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 I'm eyeing that cademio yeah. because, by the way, my sister has a demio. I'm eyeing that cademio yes. because my, my younger sister has a demio. But then I haven't considered my needs. So when we talk about considering your needs, let's break that down. What exactly are we looking at here? First and foremost is the, the need. Some people buy a car for maybe like business. Mm -hmm. That's one key thing. The other, need, the other thing is the, the logistics. Okay. Some people are very, nowadays are, they are very phobia with the, because of the COVID, mm -hmm. they don't want to use the public transport. Yeah. So they refer, whichever regardless of the car they want to buy, as long as they are not going to use the public uh, transport. Transport, yes. Those are the two things I think you should consider. Okay. Sometimes, Anna, I, see, I, I, I see people who live uh, somewhere in the Bunduzuko, uh, whether it is uh, Kamulu or some of these places where people are going, uh, Kitengela, and, and, and they're living off road. Yes. <laughs> they have a, probably a, a kilometer or so uh, of rough road that they have to do every day before they get to the main road. And then they contend with the traffic on Mombasa Road before they get to town. And sometimes I see people who bought a car that looks nice, maybe Nikawish, yeah. But come a on a rough road, my friend. You look at it after a couple of months, you're thinking, <laughs> dude, <laughs> yeah. are those some of the things people fail to consider when you're trying to look at which car suits you? Because bora ina songa ni gari ni yonekana ni kona gari ni kosawa. And. Again, I think also it depends. You know, I, I, you can buy a car, a place, like somewhere that 
you were maybe in Kilimani or Kileleshwa. Mm -hmm. Then you bought a car and then come to the Bundus, come to the Kikimau, uh, Kamulu, mm -hmm. uh, and you still have that car. So I, I feel like it totally depends uh, with your background and also it totally depends with what you're looking for um, because you're looking for a car that is going to take you from a, a, a point A to B. And if you get that, um, barabara unajua tuni kungangana tu pole pole tu unenda tu pole pole uh, with what you currently have. Okay. Yeah? But yes, when you're, when you're in a position or a place where your car or your roads are horri horrible and uh, you have that posh car, the, the copes uh, that uh, people nowadays buy, mm -hmm. um, Nakanga too off. It looks very off yeah. uh, when you're on those roads. But at the end of the day, people buy cars uh, based on uh, based on personal uh, interests, uh, based on I would say what, like they look for class and stuff. So basically, it totally depends with your personal. Yeah, that, uh, you see that whole preferences. that whole aspect and of class um, is sometimes. Yeah. I think from from my perspective, maybe sometimes. It throws people off because once you yeah. buy the car and then you start using it, you realize, okay, mm, it looks nice, but it's not really serving yeah. my needs. A good example for me, yeah. if it's not a van, I don't think I want to touch it. If it's not a van, it has to be a station one. That's just me. <laughs> Why? I like space. I've got three kids and an amazing wife. Why should we cramp up in a kaka that looks mm. like CG what? So, for me, that is one big issue. Yeah? My car is either a van, yeah. or if it has to be Kagari mm. Kadogo, it has to be a station wagon. You know, and then also, I'm a pastor. Sometimes you have to carry sound equipment. You know, so as much as, as much as maybe, you know, a Mac may look good for me, but do I need it? Will it be able to, 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 to do what I need a car to do? That's what I'm trying to get at. Because I think sometimes we get so blinded by the looks and the kind of status it gives you in society. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yeah. would I afford spare parts? At the end of the day, will you still need to hire another car to do the work that needed to be done? simply because you have to drive a sleek car. I don't know if my, 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 my yeah. thought process, James, is in the right direction. Yes, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think what we should do mm -hmm. before you buy a car, one is to look at the leave you. I'm going to ask the expert. Okay. You don't just buy car brightly. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the, especially the new, the first time car, yes. car buyers. Yes. You just because there is a new model in the town, and everyone is buying, you just go and rush and buy the new car mm -hmm. without even looking at the reviews. Maybe from S Park, maybe from mechanic, from your neighborhood. Like you, like maybe it's a car A. Maybe it has a, an issue with check engine. Mm -hmm. And I think most people I find that they never, never do a thorough job on that. We just buy because of the peer pressure. Mm -hmm. The other thing is about the availability of spare parts. Okay. That's a big, big issue, especially like uh, you find like some models in Kenya, they do very well mm -hmm. and the availability of spare parts are literally available. Mm -hmm. Where others, they, you have to really like order from maybe from out of the country and you have to wait like maybe even for one month. Those are the key things you should also do. And also about the insurance. Mm -hmm. Some uh, some of the cars they charge, they tend to, to have a very insur insurance premiums is tend to it's be high, high. Mm. compared to the others. I think those factors you should consider before you buy the car. Okay. Anything you want to add to that, yeah. Anne? Yeah, I think uh, I would also uh, talk about when you're buying a car, you're also looking for something. Uh, it depends. So if you have a big family, mm -hmm. what are you looking for? If you have a small fam family, what are you looking for? So I think it's, it's a preference. Uh, and depend, depending on what you're looking for is what you go for.
So uh, on top of now the, the spare parts and the maintenance, uh, if you know that you can uh Porsche Cayenne, uh, why not? If you're, you're, you you feel like you can fully maintain a VX, why not? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's a preference of what exactly you're looking for. Okay. What, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, what kind of a person should go for a four-wheel drive? If you're the person who keeps going to, to shags, uh, uh -huh. if you're a person who is a Biashara person, if you're, you have a big family, uh, it's a spacious car, it's a four-wheel drive, it's very strong, uh, it can maneuver in places where a Mazda cannot. So uh, basically, it's, it's, um, it's a strong car. So mm -hmm. if you're doing that, uh, if you're buying that, it means that you're going to places and you also travel a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, James, you talked about uh, spare parts. I keep hearing sometimes people saying that nowadays the world has become a global market. Uh, so whatever part you need, you can be able to, to, to get. Is that theory or is that practical? Uh, James, to yeah. be honest, if you look at the Japan cars, yeah. the availability of spare parts are already available, mm -hmm. even at a cheaper rate. But if you look at the European cars, to be honest, I've seen a scenario, even like I had the last week, a customer bought a car, but he could not be able to get the spare part he had like, to order. Okay. So that dealer is still there, mm -hmm. and people are really, like, uh, some, some spare part you really had you have to wait even for one month before they get imported back to, to the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some, 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 I've, I've also heard this, Jimmy, and maybe even Anne, you can, you can, you can uh, say something concerning this. There are those people who always say that, uh, you know, some of these European cars that people fear to touch are actually cheaper in the long run uh, because they last longer. Their parts may be expensive, but... Yes. Uh, some parts you will only buy once in your lifetime. Some parts you will never even replace. Is that a truth or is that a myth? For me, uh. um, as long as, especially the European cars, as long as you do a good service. Yeah. If you go to like a, a service, it needs a lot of money. But once you do, you service very well, it's going to last you for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And Yes. I don't think so. I feel like it's just a, a theory. Uh, owning a German car, mm -hmm. there are so many places where you can get these things for cheap. Uh, it's, it, it's totally dependent on where you're going. So if you are going to a garage and telling them to fix your car, of course, because you have a German car and they know you bought it expensively, yeah. they're going to... Mm. So, at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. so at the end of the day, it's... it's Depends with where you're going to fix your car or where you're going to do your, your services or where you, you can go to BMW, uh, BMW Center and expect them to charge you uh, something less than 100k. <laughs> yeah? So yeah. It totally depends. yeah, so I don't believe that. I, th I just think it's a theory. It's just okay. a theory. Okay, great. We'll look, at, yeah. we'll look at the cost of ownership shortly uh, yeah. because sometimes I also think that's something we, we, we fail to look into, especially for the first time car owners you know once you get the car you think it's now uh smooth all the way you, you don't realize ni kama mtoto lazima atapewa petroli mm -hmm. lazima atapewa service <laughs> lazima utafanya ina ina so uh, we'll look at the cost of ownership where that is concerned what are some key factors an individual needs to look at if you have any questions for us today it's 25 minutes after seven we are on the financial clinic how to determine which car suits you or maybe you have an experience to share about that first car you bought and then you realized i uh, uh, I need another one. What are some of the things that made you make that decision? 20316 SMS line, WhatsApp number 0786-316-316. Very interesting. Questions are coming in and some comments. You know, I was thinking about my very first car. My very first car was a Morris Mini, Mr. Bean, as people call it. Sometimes I would get out of the car and people would look at my size and look at the car and think like, dude, you bought the wrong car. It was 47,000, Bob. And then I took it to the garage, added about another 15, 20K. Uh, it was bright orange, bright orange, with some huge wheels that were white. And it had two white stripes on the front. I used to call it Spider. The adventures my wife and I had in that car, 
we need to write a book. I wonder what your first car was like. You can let us know. I have a, I have a comment here coming in from uh, one of our listeners. They say for them, the Jeep is the car that suits them. And I say, man, I see Nahat and Dururu for its budget, but Nataka, Iogari. And then you say, but imagine, what I really need for my workshop is a Pro Box or a pickup. Jeep ni tezana na mafuta ni kienda shambani kweli. Hmm, only you can answer that. There's a question here from Mamambula. Mamambula is asking, does it make sense for Alana, a first-time driver, to buy a big car? My point is, when you are still learning, chances of minor accidents are many what are your thoughts on on that james it's very true mm -hmm. uh i own a normally advise the first time learners please buy a small car mm. <laughs> you are going to like especially uh investing with a big car yes in the long run you, you end up messing yourself mm. plus also you run like uh, if it's about uh, putting fuel, if it's about uh, water in the morning, yes. you can say Nagali Kubo, you're going to suffer a lot. Wow. Maybe you can mess up a, a small mistake, yeah. but when it's a big car, you're going to feel the impact very mm -hmm. hard. It's, it goes, it's going yes. to be expensive to repair it. <laughs> yeah, in the long run, yeah. <laughs> you know, Anne, I remember one time when I, when I had that Mini. And uh, if you know mm -hmm. those Minis, they usually have uh, problems with brakes. And I was on Gong yeah. Road, man, feeling nice. You know the way Kamkono mm -hmm. Adrisha. Na ingine moja na peleka. <laughs> You're feeling like I'm on top of the world, yeah. my friend. Look at me. And then there's a KBS in stop in, in front of me and it stops suddenly. You break unakanyaga mabati. You break again, unakanyaga mabati tena. And uh, the bus is the one that stops you. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those days that wow. my friend, oh my <laughs> goodness. Sorry. Thank God no one was hurt. The bar, Kenya bus driver came yeah. out, looked at my car, all the, front, the headlights were broken, the thing was bent in front. He looked at his bus, it was only a scratch. He just said, Mze, where end to Komana, what was KBS, what was Kujapa, what was I was shaking all the way home. Oh, I don't yeah. even know how I drove home. And let's talk about the, the cost of ownership. Yes. When it comes to the cost of ownership, yeah. what are some key things that I need to consider as I decide which is the best car for me? Key things to consider. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, why are you buying the car? Uh, what is it for? Is it for personal use? Uh, is it for business? Uh, again, where is the car going to? Um, how spacious do you want the car? Mm -hmm. CCs, uh, what are you looking for? Are you looking for something that is, uh, that is going to uh, eat a lot of petrol or diesel? Mm -hmm. Or are you looking for something that is... Uh, lower in uh, mileage uh, CCs. Also, you're also looking at, at, at the mileage when you're buying a car. Yeah? Okay. Because at the end of the day, when you buy a car that has gone for many kilometers, it's going to affect the number of years that you're going to be with that car. Mm -hmm. So those are the key things that you should be looking for when you're looking for such kind of a car. Okay. James, anything to add to that? Yeah. Uh, before I add, uh, about the mileage, mm. Nowadays, people are living uh, notorious. They, live, uh, they reduce their mileage. Yeah. You can find that when you are buying a car, then you are told, ah, this is a lady owner. You know, like, they assume like the expense they share, they don't try for a very long time. And yeah. then you are told, ah, this is a lady owner. It doesn't. I think people, they revise, they reduce their mileage. Mm -hmm. Although there is the target of knowing the mileage. I think mileage should not be very, very key, Sana, about con consider when you are buying a car. Mm -hmm. But, well, about, uh, for me, what you consider mostly about is the need. Mm -hmm. Need is always very important. Do not just buy a car for, just for purpose. Mm -hmm. You must have a need. Maybe okay. it's business, maybe it's family, such stuff. Okay. Still on the cost of, on the cost of, of, of ownership and the cost of... Uh keeping this car running, because I think there are quite a number of things in there that sometimes people fail to consider. The other day I was we were having a discussion on uh, how to choose the right insurance partner, and uh, this gentleman was saying how he has seen people who buy this amazing big machine, insurance in Apatia Shida, because they can't keep up mm. with the insurance payment 
because it's too hefty. So you're saying you find somebody has this car, insurance ikiisha na inalalaga kama mwezi moja ama mwezi mbili. Akichanga changa ndiyo anunue insurance to get the car back on the road. So, you know, um, um, can we get a little bit into, into more detail about such things? Because uh, there's matters insurance. The car has to have insurance to go on the road. Sometimes we fail to consider that and how much that will cost. And you brought in something that uh, is also important, especially for the first the, the person who's owning a car for the very first time to understand because different cars have different engine capacities they consume fuel differently now maybe gariako near every day on the road you live in thika you work in nairobi or you live in nakuru and you want to work in nairobi so you use your car every day your fuel you know things like that on matter service yeah there are some cars service. Some other ones, when you go for service, you think like, what do you mean? You know, so ca ca can we get a little bit into more details? Because I think those are important things that sometimes we fail to take note of. We are so mesmerized by the car and how it looks and imagining ati niangu. Hey, Jehovah, you are good. There's a cost to it. <laughs> uh, I have a about, friend of mine uh, who's, who's... Yes, Anne. Okay, I about the insurance... About the insurance, yeah. <laughs> I think the key thing you should consider is the first you look at the insurance company you are going to work with. Mm -hmm. I've seen a scenario whereby there are some insurance which are very strict. You have to pay the whole premium. Yeah. Where well, rather they have the flat returns. Another thing is about the when the car has get as as debt. Mm -hmm. Do they do they compensate back? Insurance some insurance in this country are broke. They, once you get an accident, yes. they take you all around one year, two years down the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. About the insurance, those are the two things you should consider. Okay. And you had something to say. Yeah, I have a friend of mine who has a very big car somewhere. <laughs> and that friend of mine, I think, could not afford a comprehensive insurance. Mm -hmm. So bought... Um, that party. At that party. Because... <laughs> He wanted it to move from A point A to B, and again, he, got, he has a posh car. So mm -hmm. um, with that, he got a very big accident and couldn't really afford Oy. to fix the car Yeah, uh, because the car was not uh, uncomprehensive. So basically, it, it's very important to make sure if you have these big cars, uh, take a good insurance uh, so that if anything happens, you are able to get your car back. Uh, you don't want to spend so, man, so much money on a big car and you're not able to afford these other things uh these important other things uh or a car is just out here because you don't have fuel uh for the week mm -hmm. so it's, it's pretty important to just make sure that these things you've considered them at the beginning when you when you're looking to buy a car mm -hmm. so if you're buy a big, buying a big car it means you can afford fuel you can afford uh insurance you can afford uh taking care of it maintenance so don't look at uh, peer pressure or look at the big life and not look at how to maintain or how to make sure that uh, you are comfortable mm -hmm. taking care of this baby because Akai is a baby. Very true. So, yeah. Very true. Yeah. I remember once I, 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 have a, I have a Volkswagen transporter. Me, I'm an old school guy. And so, <laughs> you know, you, you have your big wheels, 17, 18 inch low profile tires. You know, and a friend of mine was telling me, these things look good in the city. Where under Geshagi? Yeah, the day I went to Geshagi is when I went back to some of those old original <laughs> things the way they were because the person who put them there understood why they were putting yeah. there. And I'm saying this because th there's that culture, you know, where you want to spruce up your car, you want to do this, you want to do this, and sometimes we don't look at some of those practical things. But let me take this discussion in another direction. Maybe you want the car for personal use, but maybe also you want the car for business. A lot of people nowadays are buying cars uh, to put on the road, whether for car hire or whether it is uh, Uber and Bolt and stuff like that. So if I'm looking at a car for business, yeah, either for leasing or for Uber kind of business, what are some main things I need to consider? James. The first thing is to consider the, the type of a car you're going to buy. Mm -hmm. The make. Okay. As much as uh, there are some cars like uh, when you buy the car, they really depreciate very fast. Mm -hmm. 
Let's assume we buy like I don't want to mention the brats. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're a wise man. <laughs> Let's see, you should do a that job when you are buying a car like for specific business. Mm -hmm. But another thing you look at the CC of the car. Mm -hmm. You want like this car to be personal as at the same time you want it to for business. The CC is very important. Because you're, if if you're going to overload the car, mm -hmm. maybe it's for one thousand, and the work is going to do is for thirteen hundred cc, the engine is not going to last for a very long time. Okay. But also so the spare uh, the the con uh, the how is this able to convert? If for for example is like uh, let's assume, assume it's Noah. Mm -hmm. Noah is very flexible. You can move the seats behind. Yeah. Well, about the Saroon car, it's not that very much flexible. Maybe like you want to call it like uh, tomatoes and you want to call it such stuff. <laughs> you find like Saroon can be very hectic for you. Yes. You look at the convert, how the, the car is, can be able to be converted to, to suit your business needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And anything to add to that? Yeah, I think I agree. It's important to just make sure that uh, whatever car you're buying is something that you know basically can help you as a, as a businessman and also you as a family man. Mm -hmm. So you just have to weigh and know that it's, 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 it can help both ways. Uh, and that mainly comes in with the kind of business that you're looking for. So if it's farming, if it's uh, Ubers, if it's uh, uh, Safari Laris. So basically it's just making sure that Whatever you're buying, you're yeah. buying something that is going to fully sort your, your needs. Okay. So it's important to just do your due diligence at the beginning uh, to just have a comfortable, uh, not something that is going to uh, give you headache at the end of the day. Okay. You know, earlier on when we began this conversation, one of the first things we talked about is the budget. And I'm just wondering sometimes, uh, would it be better to look at my needs? These are my needs. And the car that suits my needs is actually this model. But I can afford this one. And I'm just wondering, is it better to wait? Because, okay, I may buy this one so that I look like I have a car and, man, I'm growing in, in this society. But it doesn't really meet my needs. Would it be wise then to say, you know what? I probably need another extra 300K. To be able to really get the car that I know, I'll stay with it for years because it fits, it fits my needs like a glove. Is it important to weigh such options? Is it a good thing to wait, James? For me, it depends. Mm -hmm. Maybe like you want a, like, let's assume you want a seven-seater and the purpose is to do a business. Yeah. Maybe a short of 300,000. Uh -huh. Maybe you can go and take a run from there. Because you are sure, but be there before the end of maybe one year, mm -hmm. once you buy the car, it's going to finance it's, it's going to pay itself back. Yes. But if you are buying a car like for luxury, for personal use, mm -hmm. and you are short of money, it's good to wait until when you have reached certain amount of money so that you can be able to buy that car. Okay. And do you agree yeah. or do you have different thought? Yeah, yeah, it's important to just make sure that your 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 budget or what you're looking for, your you can wait. Uh, why not? You mm -hmm. have you can wait, but make sure that when you're waiting, you've saved your money because uh, at the end of the day, we have a tendency of when you have the money, you always find something to do with the money. Mm -hmm. um, so it's either if you want to use the bank uh, way to 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 add the money. It's an option again if you want to save for a few months it's also an option but it's important to buy something that you know it's going to uh help you or stay longer okay great it is about uh 16 minutes before we get to eight it is the financial clinic how do you determine which is the right car for you that's what we are looking at today if you have any questions for us 20316 is the sms line and the whatsapp number is 0786 316 316 mm -hmm. And uh, I've got comments coming in. There's one gentleman here who says, beautiful show. You've just reminded me of what we've been through with my first car. And he has sent me a picture of this car. Peugeot 504. <laughs> we call it Simba. Oh, my goodness. I feel something on that one. I feel something. And I'm just wondering, you know the way we have uh, yeah. phones, eh? You know, there are those who go iOS. There are those who yeah. go Android. There are those who say, ah, iOS, what's on an aisle? expensive for nothing my android has more capabilities than your ios and it's cheaper 
Do we have a similar scenario where yep. cars are concerned such that there are those that because of the brand name, they're more expensive, but you have others that the brand name may not be as big as that one, but they can actually do more or even better and they come at a cheaper price. Yes, mm -hmm. we do have we do have that a lot. Uh, people like we have German and uh, Japan cars. So when you compare, people will always compare. Uh, but looking at uh, the expensive uh, Japan uh, cars, they are doing much better than even the German cars. So this it's totally your preference. Again, uh, there are people who prefer the iOS. There are people who prefer the Android. Mm -hmm. Depends on you. Depends at what you're looking at. Depends uh, with what you want as a person. And mostly, if people are taking the German cars, they are looking for class. They are, they are looking for different um, levels uh, in terms of uh, yeah, I would just say class. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're looking at the Japan cars, you're looking at Comf comfortability, you're looking at uh, consumption, you're mm -hmm. looking at so many other things, uh, how to do business. So basically it's it's dependent on you. Yeah, and we have that uh, differentiator of people who go to German and others who go to Japan cars. Okay, James, anything you want to say on that? Uh, for me, uh, especially when it comes to old school, mm -hmm. I prefer going to for German cars. Mm -hmm. I'm a European cars. They normally perform very well. And in the market, you are going to get them at a cheaper, cheaper rate compared to the like Japan cars. Okay, okay. Yes. What, what, when it when we when we talk about uh, resale value, you know, there are people who say certain cars don't have a good resale value. When I'm buying my car, is that something mm. I should consider? I will agree. Very yes. true. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention Brad. <laughs> I don't. You're a very wise man. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but you should do your research and find out, like, uh, if, like, I want to sell this car, maybe I bought a, a KDD right now, mm -hmm. five years down the line, how much is it going to fetch? If I, bu I bought from this Brad, from Brad A, yeah. Brad B, Brad C, it's very, very important to, to look at the the sale value in the long run because i'm very sure mm -hmm. you're not going to stay with the car for like 10 years down the line maybe okay. like five years down the line we need to upgrade to another car mm -hmm. it's very important to to research which 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 brands don't appreciate very fast mm -hmm. yeah and but again james uh, when you're looking at it when you're buying a car what are you looking for are you looking <laughs> to sell this car or are you looking to stay with this car for the rest of your life uh, it's it's dependent. Um, there are people uh, who are buying to have, uh, like, to just have. A, they're not looking to buy uh, to sell the cars. Yes. Um, it's not like a business. They they want to have a, a durable car and then also hand it over to their kids. Mm -hmm. So it's like a family thing. So it's dependent. You don't have to. When you're buying a car, just make sure you you you're looking at those kind of things. Are you buying to sell? Are you uh, buying to own fully. Mm -hmm. I like look at all those things um, because I feel like there are times you're missing out on some very good cars yeah. because the resale value is not that good. Or someone has advised you uh, that uh, when you want to maybe get spares, you it's, it's hard to get the spares. So mm -hmm. basically, just make sure you've done your due diligence before buying the cars and understand what you want at the end of of the day. Okay. There's also this other uh, issue. One point. Yeah. Uh, and there's also one thing you should also consider. There are some people like when they want to buy a car, uh -huh. Papa say is like they want like if I want I have bought this car like four hundred thousand. Even if it's like they want like they are somehow like they want like a business mind that they want even if they are going to sell, if it is the ninety, if they have served, served them and at the same time uh the value for money they have they are going to see the value for money. Mm. Yeah. There's, there's, there's this other issue, uh, and yeah, mm -hmm. God is an accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are those people who will tell you, ah, where what Tanana is, what and Kuanesha, you can actually get a good deal. Yeah, this is how we do it. You, 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 you buy a car that has had an accident from this insurance, guys. You buy and it cheap, it. you know, and Habit. then you yeah. kwa moshi pale hivo, omosha na kupigia yeah. pigia mabati, na kuwasawa. When you're on the road, people can't know you're driving a nice car and you got it at a cheap yeah. price. 
Does it work like, like does it work that way? Is it happily ever after in those kind of stories? Ama yeah, ni moto ya kuotea mbali. It happens, it happens a lot. Uh you look for a cheap car, uh fix it and then maybe that car had an engine issue. Mm -hmm. Uh we wende uno mia, utashinda tu kwa garage at the end of the day. Uh so <laughs> Cheap is expensive. Cheap is expensive. Cheap is expensive. James, do you agree? Yes. I agree totally. Yeah. Plus also the, the insurance companies, they don't take especially the salvage cars. Okay. They don't insure like a comprehensive insurance. Ah. Or even like it, it has an accident, you have, you have to go back to your pocket and uh, you cater for the expenses. Okay. You see now those are things yeah. that some people need to know. Because most, yeah. most of the time you buy a car because you've got an advice from a friend here and there. Or you saw a friend do it and you're thinking this is the way to go. So it's good that people know this kind of information. So is there anything else you want to add, Anne, before we finish? Because we're almost out of time. What's one more thing you would like to add? Um, I would say when you're buying a car, mm -hmm. it's important to just uh, look, don't listen to people. Do your research. Uh, understand what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you look for places. Uh, you compare. Uh, compare the different prices out here. Um, use uh, the different... And then also, when you're, you're buying a car, make sure, again, you don't just buy a car without going with a mechanic to make sure that this car is well uh maintained especially for the used cars in kenya because mm -hmm. so many people are, are selling used cars so make sure that you go with a mechanic uh make sure that before buying a car or giving out your money you've um had it fully checked and you know exactly what you're buying uh you are fully aware not just being influenced yeah. uh on what to buy okay so yes james parting shot james uh, for me, when you are buying car, yeah. you sh for me, when you are buying cars, you consider the your needs. Mm -hmm. Another thing is that you compare the prices, and also you go for your taste. Don't listen to everyone in the market. Yeah. Uh, what are you go for your needs. Very true. Thank you. Thank you very much. Find what works for you and stick with it. Kila mtu anakuwaga na maoni yake. Anne Bindi and James Kamau, thank you for being a part of the financial clinic today on Jam 316. Aya, for you who's wanting to buy a car, I'm giving you some good information. Now you're properly armed to know which direction to go and what to do. That's all the time we have for the clinic today. Clinic to Mefunga, Mbaka next week. This and more of our shows, log on to www.familymediaonline.com to enjoy a wide variety of programs from current affairs to testimonials and features, pastoral and inspirational shows, kids entertainment, and so much more. Also stream live on www.familymedia.tv. Thank you.